You're listening to Speak Up and Stay Alive, Patient Safety Radio. I am your hostess, Pat Rulo, always on the lookout for people, products, services, and ideas that can help you to be a safer and happier patient. And we talk about the patient experience all the time on this program. Sometimes we discuss huge patient experience no-nos, like wrong site surgery or hospital-acquired infections. But most of the time, it's the seemingly little things that could make or break your patient experience. How many times have you gone to the doctor's office or hospital and are forced to put on a worn out, faded hospital gown with the gaping hole in the back? And ladies, you'll appreciate this. Think about your mammogram visits. You're already frightened by the process and the potential outcome. You're cold, shivery, and to add further insult to all of that, you're left waiting around wearing a thin, scratchy gown with shriveled ties and a big opening for all to see. Well, our guest today has solved that problem. She is Sharon Linder, founder and CEO of Get Janes, a company that manufactures a dignified wellness gown for women named Janes. Sharon pioneered Get Janes using her 31 years of business experience with IBM in marketing, sales, and philanthropy. Sharon earned a master's degree at the University of Vermont, has two grown daughters, and currently lives in Providence, Rhode Island with her husband and two Scottish Terriers. I think it's important for our dignity and peace of mind that I share her with you. So let's get started. And welcome to the show, Sharon. Welcome, Pat. Thanks for having me. Oh, my. My pleasure. As soon as I met you, I knew we had to get you on the show. Sharon, I'm always interested to find out how our guests come to do what it is that they do. How did you come up with the idea for Jane's? Well, Get Jane's was really born out of necessity. My two sisters and my mother are breast cancer survivors, and because of that, I found myself in uh, hospital clinics, women's centers, being uh, examined and studied. Um, I was in several national studies for breast cancer research. And when I would go to be examined, I would go to these wonderful places with the most inviting intelligent uh, staff members and beautiful surroundings and then I would go into the dressing room and they would give me uh, as you've described the scratchy faded Johnny would call we call them and it would sort of put a damper on the whole experience and when I'd put them on and sit in the waiting room I would see other women who were as uncomfortable as I was and I thought wow there just has to be something better and I really didn't coming from IBM I really didn't know anything about design when I set out uh, to do this so I had a bunch of focus groups And I had doctors and patients and nurses and radiologists and so much help, so much really knowledgeable help in uh, putting Jane's together, our Jane's gowns. And um, and I think we've come up with not only something better, but the best. Oh, I agree. And I think we can all relate to that feeling of sitting there with those uncomfortable gowns and looking around and seeing that everyone's feeling the same way as well. Now, where did the name come from, Jane's? Well, it's interesting. Um, in the Northeast, and I, and I, I really found this out uh, when I started marketing Jane's across the country, but apparently only in the Northeast or in several small places across the country, patient gowns are referred to as Johnny's. <laughs> and uh, many people don't have never heard that term, but in New England, that's what we call hospital gowns. And so I thought, well, instead of a Johnny, women, these are made you know, right now, strictly for women. And I thought, well, a good, strong name would be Jane's. And that's really how it came to be. I've heard of Johnny's, but as you said, I think, yeah, it might just be very, very kind of local. Anyway, what makes Jane's different than from other patient gowns? Well, first of all, Jane's open in the front. So right away, they're different in that they fit nicely and they wrap so that they're, you're, you're, you feel like you're, you're wrapped in warmness. They're a a waffle weave knit material. It is not sheeting. It's not like um, cloth. It is woven. So it's almost like a knit. And they're extremely, extremely soft. Um, So they're soft. They're warm. They fit. They open in the front. They're attractive. Uh, They come in two sizes. So um, they come up to a, a 4X. So they fit most people. I think they're just more comforting than a regular, well, many people still tell me that they they are in paper, that their doctors offer them paper. So um, they're certainly more comfortable than that and, and more comfortable than most gowns I've come across. 
absolutely all you have to do is look at them and you feel like perhaps you're at a spa rather than wearing some old faded overused yes. gown yeah yes and you know one of the things that I noticed when waiting with other women uh, the larger women and not so larger women were falling out of the these Johnnies and the thinner women were freezing so I think that Jane's solves both of, of those problems they also have a pocket they come at a great length wide arms I, you know they're just all around more comfortable more as Many people who have them wear them at home uh, as just sort of a lightweight robe. Yes, and I can see that happening as well. And that was going to be my next question. I'm imagining it's not just for a hospital visit, but how do you imagine women using Jane's? Well, they started as purely a functional, a more functional replacement or alternative to the hospital gown. And now I see women who are buying them as gifts for their friends who are in the hospital or home recuperating. And now, which is so really cool, are a lot of younger people are buying them or getting them as gifts for maternity um, when they either are in the hospital with their babies or home nursing. I think women like to be comfortable and they want to look good and Jane's solved that problem in a lot of areas. So they're very nice in that they're lightweight but you can sleep in them. Mm -hmm. So if you're in the hospital receiving guests, you can then, you know, fall asleep in it afterwards. Um, If you're home with a newborn, it's not a very fancy satin trimmed gown. It's very functional so that you can, you know, feel okay if the baby spits up on it, if you're giving the baby a bath and you get soaking wet. Janes are very, very durable because they were meant to be used in a hospital environment so they can withstand a hospital laundry and a lot, a lot of washings. Yeah, I think it plays to both sides. As you said, not only are they comfortable and attractive, but they're not so, as you used the word once before, they're not so precious that you would worry like, oh my goodness, you know, I got a little uh, something dripped on there or the baby spit up on it. So it's exactly it's comfortable and functional. And, and I think I also mentioned to you one other time when we spoke that recently my daughter had a baby and Just the photos we had from that very first day in the hospital, guess what she's wearing? The hospital Johnny, you know, and and that's what you have for for eternity. And had I known about Get Jane's, I would have immediately gotten her one of those. And now our pictures for (laughs) posterity would... (laughs) Right. No, it it is so true. Or even, you know, um, not to be grim, but, uh, you know, your last... Many people, their last vision of their loved one is in a hospital bed. And, uh, you know, it, it would be much nicer softer, whatever, uh, more comforting to have somebody in, in something that was a little dignified. And I think that is what they're all about, is they're really all about it, dignity and the right to be comfortable. Right, right. And again, not to be grim, but I was thinking of this as well. One of our uh, sponsors of the show is a hospice, Hospice of the Western Reserve. And I was thinking, whoa, Jane's would be a nice gift to bring to a hospice patient, huh? Yes, and actually, uh, we've had women who have purchased them for just that, exactly that. And um, and it is a very nice gift. It's soothing, and yes. Absolutely. Yep, it is. Yep, Absolutely. It is. They're, they're, people have said they're like receiving a hug. Yes. Because yes. they're wrapped, and they're warm, and they're just loving. And, and that's the way I really wanted them to be. I want all women to know that they have a choice of something better. And it, it doesn't even have to be a Jane. It, just know that there are better alternatives out there, and like Jane's, and I think ours is the best. But um, just know that you don't have to wear what's given to you at a breast health center or hospital or your doctor's office. Right. And that brings me to the next thought. It's it's okay to bring your own. We don't need to feel, oh my gosh, I'm not allowed to bring that in. Yes. Well, when I was um, developing them, I spoke with a radiologist who um, is quite well known on the East Coast. And she had been, she sat me down and she said, I've been doing this for 30 years, 100 women a day, five days a week, and I'm going to tell you what you need to do. And she sat me down and told me one of the first things was to make a cinch bag. And I really thought, well, what's that about? And she said, believe me, in the years to come, women are going to want to bring their own gown. And this is a perfect perfect way to to tote it around is in this little cinch bag. She said people are tired of germs, hospital germs, not even tired of them. They're 
really getting sick from them. And also, she said, in the years to come, we are going to see people taking part in their medical journeys. They're not going to be just accepting what the doctor tells them. They're going to be getting second opinions. They're going to be asking questions, intelligent questions. Um, and this is, uh, bringing your own gown is a, the beginning of taking part, in the beginning of an empowered move. And, um, and you know, uh, four years later, after I've talked, to, she's right. We have seen a real uptick on our website of in individuals buying Jane's and buying the cinch sacks. So it, what, it, what she told me four years ago is coming to fruition. It's, it's really fascinating. And right now I'm going to stop and encourage our listeners to visit your website, getjanes.com, because we talk about that very same thing, cross-contamination, the germs that are found in the hospital, and obviously the hospital gowns that they give us have been sterilized in, in, in whatever laundry process the hospital uses. But still, I always wonder, I'm thinking, you know, how many people touch this before I'm putting it on my naked body? And I would feel so much better if I brought one from home. And secondly, we always encourage our listeners to pack a hospital bag ahead of time and stash it in their closet. And Jane's would be the perfect addition to add to that pre-packed hospital bag. Then it's ready to go and it's with you. Yes, thank you for for saying that. I think that also when I have asked women, you know, would you bring your own? I get two responses. One is, oh, I never thought of that. Could I do that? And then the other is, oh, they won't let me. I know they won't let me. But the truth is that you should be thinking of it, and they will let you. And as a matter of fact, many doctors would love that because they would have less laundry costs if people Mm -hmm. did and um, less staff running around uh, filling the shelves. And what's interesting is that although a laundry, the typical hospital gown comes back from the laundry clean, it goes through many, many steps in the hospital before it reaches the shelf. Yes, to you or the cart or whatever it's coming in on. So the germs are back in there. I, it is very comforting to be able to, or assuring, to be able to bring something from home, go home and wash it. And I'll tell you what I, this is me setting an example, but I keep mine in my car like I do my organic grocery bags. And um, when I have a doctor's appointment, I just bring mine in. And whether that's any doctor's appointment, my mammogram, my yearly visit, my skin doctor, and you know what? They all think it is so cool. The nurses just want to know where they can get them, and the doctors come in and go, ooh, looking good, you know, and, I, and it, so it's all positive. There's no negative feeling about, towards anyone if you bring your own gown. It is okay to bring your own. And you are so correct. What you just said, we always, again, tell our listeners, you've got to be a little bit different than the rest of the thousands of patients that they see every day or the you know thousands of people in the hospital and do something to stand out in a positive way to show that you are an empowered patient. You will be treated better and differently. So anything you can do to stand out, to let people know, just visually, you don't even need to say anything. You walk in carrying that and, and, and putting that on, they're going to notice and say, all right, we, we got a smart cookie here, right? You are so right. <laughs> you know, you're, it's something I've, I'm not, I mean, I've not expressed to people, but yes, you are so right. And um, it, it's interesting, and I, I think we're so into taking care of our bodies or trying to take care of our bodies, trying to eat the right things, trying to, you know, and this is just part of taking care of your body. It's the closest thing to you when you go to any doctor's appointment. Right. Right. Yeah, definitely. And I'm going to give yeah. you a little story because this just recently happened. And once I became familiar with Get Jane's, I thought, here's a perfect example of where Jane's would have been very, very appropriate. Recently, I took my mom to her annual cardiologist visit and the nurse told her to put on that flimsy gown with the opening in the front. And the ties were so shriveled and, and short, we couldn't tie it mm. um, because they had to do an EKG. And when finished, the nurse said, okay, the doctor will be in shortly. And when he entered the room and he saw my mom sitting there with this opening in the front, he averted his eyes and he kind of silently cursed the nurse under his breath. He was mumbling about how she should have told us to change the direction of the gown prior to his entrance. And He left the room requesting that my mom remove the gown and put it back on with the opening in the back for for modesty purposes. But meantime, then we heard him head into the next room to visit another patient, which caused us to have to wait an additional 20 minutes. So I'm thinking how wonderful would it have been if either they furnished us a soft dignity maintaining Jane right up front or if we had brought our own. So I see many applications for this very simple 
idea and simple gesture. Yeah. Well, thank you. It, it is the most simple thing, and it, it makes such a difference in patients or, or just women's lives who are going through all kinds of ex- medical experiences. But, and I hear it all the time. I have wonderful stories from people who have used Jane's, and it, it is really, it's thrilling to me. I mean, I just, I always have loved being in business, and it is a, it's wonderful to be in a business that really has so much meaning. That's um, something that I didn't expect, and, mm-hmm. and I'm thrilled with it. Well, and you're also even going further because you're giving back some of the proceeds back to underserved women. Can you tell us a bit about that? Yes. Um, 2% of the uh, profit from every Jane goes into a fund, and we give back to, we write you know, a check every year to a, not really a breast cancer foundation, but we often will write a check to a uh, hospital that is providing free uh, mammograms. Mm-hmm. It's all about free mammograms, so we'll support anything that will give free mammograms. And a, and a lot of hospitals have a, a fund, states have a fund, so it's, it's been actually, that's also been a really neat journey, is trying to figure out the best way to get our small checks to uh, places that directly serve women. Mm-hmm. See, I think mm. that's that's just beautiful. It's not only are you helping the women who buy the Janes, but through their purchase, they're helping others. And, and I want to read a testimonial that I found on your website because I thought this was very important. Some gal said, I want the gifts I give to be meaningful and expressive of what I value. This year, I have been buying Janes for my friends. To me, they represent a gift of comfort and caring. Janes allow me to nurture my friends and support free mammogram programs at the same time. So it's beautiful. Mm. Well, thank you so much. (laughs) So Sharon, where can people find Janes? Uh, We talked about your website. Give us that information. Yes, uh, people can find uh, Janes at getjanes.com. And if you do not have the internet nearby or available to you, you can call a toll-free number, which is 866-602. Eight three nine eight. You can ask to speak with Gail, who's our customer service manager, and uh, we partner with a company called Parsons Kellogg, and they're wonderful for doing our billing and doing our fulfillment and shipping. So you may hear people answer the phone Parsons Kellogg, but it is we are a customer of, of Parsons Kellogg. So you can just ask for Gail, and you want to order a Jane's, and she can take care of you. Again, it's eight six six. 602-8398 and ask for Gail. Awesome. That's great. Well, Sharon, it was so exciting to have you on the show today. I knew that I had to share you with our listeners. And do you have any final words of advice or any last minute uh, ideas that we should share? Well, I think we should just all remember what was said here today. And most importantly, it's okay to bring your own. Do you have the right to be comfortable during medical exams, procedures, treatments, and recovery? Order your own Jane today. And guys, if you're listening, this is a great gift idea. In fact, instead of visiting a patient and bringing an overpriced vase of flowers that wither within days, surprise your patient with their very own Janes. They're reusable, they're washable, and they're made right here in the USA. And they come in a soft cinch bag too, ready for gift giving. So visit the website getjanes.com or call 866-602-8398 and ask for Gail. Sharon, thank you for sharing this with us today. Thank you. Be well. You too.